our wake up practice, as always, we want to have some water handy. We want to have our weights available to us. And as we get ourselves going today, we're just going to get started by walking in place. And as you're walking in place, we're going to get the arms moving. So whether you're using weights or if you're using cans from your pantry, whatever is around, if you have three pounders, five pounders, maybe you need two pounders, whatever, whatever you've got. Good, and just starting to find a little bit of that movement. Let's get the shoulder blades nice and strong to the upper back so that we're not rolling forward. And as we stand tall, just start to awaken into the heart. Good. With the bend to the elbows, that helps us to be more aware of the shoulder blades, strong and supportive to upper back. And keep in mind if you ever need to wear tennis shoes in this particular practice, you may. If you're comfortable being in your bare feet, you can do that too. Good, so we're just starting to wake up. Feeling the heart rate moving a little faster. Keep your breath nice and full, please. Allow yourself to stand a little taller. Good, again, shoulder blades, nice and strong to the upper back. Good. And as we continue to walk, I want you to take right arm out to the side and bring it back in. And now take your left arm out to the side, bring it back in. Right arm out, bring it in, left arm out, Bring it in. Good, again, right arm out. Bring it in. Left arm out. Bring it in. Again, right. And left. Good. Now, let's try both. And bring them back in. And out. Bring them back in. Feel how your shoulder blades work a little bit more. Out. Bring them back in. Good. Still taking a little walk here as you keep your feet moving. Reach out and bring them back in. Let's go two more. Reach out, back in, and out. Back in. Good, now go straight ahead. Good, and as you feel that extension of your arm forward, and then the bend to the elbow, as you come back in, feel your breath increase, please. Feet still moving. Feel the length forward. Notice when you extend your arm forward, how the belly engages more. Good. So have a little pause in between. We don't want to imagine we're at a punching bag really quick with movements. Have that moment of holding it forward and then bending your elbow. Little bit different sensation then as you lengthen out the hold of your arm up and forward. Because the other thing is, when we start getting fatigued, the arm wants to drop. So when we get that full extension forward at shoulder height, we can start to feel some of that additional support into the shoulder joint as well as the upper back. Good. Let your arms hang down to the sides now. 
Shrug both shoulders up, back and down. Up, back, and down. Two more. Up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Good. Now, let's come up to just a standing position here. Make sure you're comfortable holding on to your weights. We're going to slide right hand down, maybe to mid thigh, maybe you can get closer to your right knee. And now take your left arm out, shoulder height to your side, and bring it back down. And come up, and lower it down. And come up and lower down. Good. Think of your exhale as you're lifting, your inhale as you lower. So that exertion of lifting the arm up, you exhale, when you inhale, you lower the arm down. Good. Can you slide right hand down just a little bit more? Let's go two more. Good. And now inhale, come back up, level out. Notice how different your left shoulder and upper arm feel versus your right. And now slide the left hand down, roughly at mid thigh or down towards your knee. Good. Now in exhale, lift the right arm up about halfway and then inhale, lower it down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale. Let's get some strength into the neck. If the left ear starts dropping quite a bit, that's going to put strain into the neck. Good. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. Good. Exhaling up. Inhale down. So start to feel a little bit more of that power in through your right arm. Feel how long the arm is, how strong shoulder blade is to the upper back. Good. Can you bring your left hand down one more bit? And we're not trying to lean too far forward. Good. Exhale up. Inhale down. Here we go. Last one. And now, inhale, come back up, level out. Good. Take a little fold forward. I'm going to over exaggerate for a moment. Try not to do this though, where we have a curve to the upper back. Get your shoulder blades strong to the upper back. Have about a half an inch bend to both knees. And now, Exhale, lift your elbows straight up towards the ceiling, and then inhale, come back down, okay? Exhale, pull up with your elbows, inhale, lower down. So let your elbows come in, try not to go, try not to go out to the sides, good, and then your inhale, back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. It's like pulling on your pants. Can you feel that? <laughs> Good, so that pulling up action. Elbows. Feel how strong your belly is. Inhale, arms relax. Exhale, pull them up. Inhale, relax. Let's go one more. Good. Inhale, come up to standing. Stand nice and tall. Beautiful. All right, next up. Right arm straight out in front. Good, turn so your palm is parallel to the floor. So your weight is horizontal. All right, take in a deep breath. Exhale, bend your elbow back and then inhale forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Good. Try
try to keep the elbow up. Good. And release, right arm down. All right, I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see what we're gonna do. So take your left arm straight out in front, and on your exhale, bend your elbow back so that the weight is more in line with your shoulder and try to push the elbow straight back and behind, not out to the side, okay? Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bring the elbow back behind you. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, behind. Good. Inhale, forward. Exhale, behind. Good. Two more. Reach it forward. Feel how strong your shoulder blade is. You're gonna start feeling more movement in through the upper back as well. Here we go, one more. And exhale and release. Good, shrug your shoulders, move them back and down. Shrug them up, back and down. All right, let's bend both elbows again. Take your walk and get your arms moving, pumping them a little bit forward and back. As the knees are bending, keep in mind, if you want, go climb a mountain. Lift your knees up higher, get your heart rate up higher. Good, feel your power today. Notice how your feet make stronger contact to the ground. Deepen your breath. Empty it. Deepen your breath. Empty it. Good. Feel your shoulder blades still supportive to upper back. We're standing tall. Feel your belly engage more. Good. And slow it down so we got our heart rate back up again. Step your feet wide. Toes point straight ahead. Good, inhale. Arms up, touch the weights overhead. Good, exhale, bring the arms down. Inhale, up, touch, exhale, lower down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Let's go two more. Exhaling, good, beautiful. Bend your right knee, take your left arm across and hold. Now sweep your left arm across, straighten your right leg. Bend your left knee, take your right arm across Try not to lean too far forward. We want the torso nice and tall. And now sweep and straighten the leg. Bend your left, uh, right knee, right knee. Take your left arm across, hold it. Deepen your breath. Sweep and straighten. Bend your left knee, right arm across. Hold it, hold it. Deepen your breath, sweep the arm across. Good, straighten the left leg, feet together, take a walk, get your shoulders up and back again, bend your elbows, and now cross country ski. Good, feel the extension of your arm forward, going. Good. And release. Nicely done. Go ahead and put your weights down. 
grab a drink of water. Good. Let's grab our chair. And come on over, have a seat. Perch more forward onto the front part of your chair. And we're going to take a little hula hoop. Circle from your waistline, base of shoulders, and feel that movement across your mid to low back. Deepen your breath, please. Good. Circle it again. Feel yourself taking up some space through your rib cage. Now, go the other way. Good. Feel all the spaces between your ribs, your front, sides, back ribs. Notice the range of motion. Continue to push equally down into both feet. Keep going. Notice how your sitting bones, one will take a little bit more weight at a time. Good. And bring it back around to your neutral. Take your right hand to the front right leg of your chair, left arm up. Now, tip your left shoulder behind you a bit and take a look up straight up towards the ceiling. Your left upper arm is now back behind your cheek and you're not looking at the upper arm. It's actually behind you more. Good. Feel all your space in through your ribs, your low belly. Inhale. Come on up. Switch it up. Hold the front chair leg. Right arm extends high. Take your right shoulder back a little bit and then reach out. Reach, reach, reach. And as you're lengthening out even more in through your fingers, feel how the right side of your chest lifts. Increase your inhalation. Good. Next inhale, rise back up. Now, Bring your feet closer together, let your knees touch. Keep the knees touching. As you exhale, lean forward, try to touch the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms forward and up overhead. Exhale, lean forward, touch the floor. Inhale, come, <coughs> excuse me, come up with both arms. Exhale, lean forward, touch the floor. Inhale, up with the arms. Exhale, lean forward. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, up. Here we go. Last one. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, up. Now we're going to go to the outside with both arms. The right hand may touch the floor, left hand may not so much. Inhale, come back up with both arms. To the left. Good. Inhale, up. To the right. Inhale, up. To the left. Can you touch the floor with at least your left fingers? Inhale, up. To the right. Good. Inhale up to the left. Inhale up and release the arms down. Good. Shimmy forward if you're not already. Rock your legs side to side like windshield wipers. Take your feet a little wider than your chair. And we're focusing in through the hip and the IT band when we do this one. Notice where those tight little areas are into the legs. Good. Heel toe your feet back together. And we're going to bring 
right ankle, left thigh, or if crossing your knees is better for you today, please do that. Good, so first thing in the morning, body is much different than it is later in the day. So take your time here, please. Full inhale. Good. And now from here, continue to feel your right knee gently lowering. Bring your right arm up behind you onto the seat of your chair. Take your left hand across either to right knee or thigh and let's twist to the right. Let your breath deepen. Feel your body gently moving. So one more little twist. And next inhale, return. We're now going to square to the right calf and fold forward. So all that flexibility through your hip, even across your low back. Keep in mind, we're not trying to push down onto the right knee. Knee should be comfortable. So if you have any strain at all into the knee, back out a little bit and sit upright more. Keeping the spine nice and long, your collarbones are guiding you forward more, not your shoulders. So there's a difference in how you create length through your spine. Inhale, come on up. Let's unwind. Bring your right leg down. Let's lift the left leg up. Good. Again, if you need to, cross at your knees instead. So if this is too much, cross at your knees. Bring your left arm behind you, right hand across towards your left knee or even to the outer thigh. And just find your little twist here. Sitting up as tall as you can. So start to feel that little bit of movement through your torso. Good, allow your breath to deepen. And let your head turn a little bit more to your left. Good. Inhale. Come back around. Level out. And let's fold forward. And as you fold forward, again, think about moving from your collarbones. Your spine lengthens and then you create the hinge from your waistline. Shoulder blades are back and in. And then just allow yourself to feel that gentle fold forward. Full inhale again. Good, next inhale, come back up. And let's unwind. Bring your foot back down to the floor. We're going to turn to the right now and help stretch out a bit more through our thigh. And right knee and ankle line up, please. Pick up your left foot, moving into a lunge. Extend your left leg behind you. And as you sit up a little bit taller, push back one more time. In through your left heel. Notice how long your left leg is. How level are you onto the left ball of your foot? So we want it to be completely balanced from big toe to little toe. And then your front knee and ankle are lined up. All right, from here, take both hands around to the back of your chair and take a look over your left shoulder. Get into the hip flexor. One more little bit here. And can you straighten your left leg one last time? Full inhale, please. Deep, deep, deep. Empty it. One more. Inhale. 
Good. Empty it. And walk your right foot forward first. Bring your left foot to meet your right. And now, round two, please. Bring your left knee and ankle in line. Take your right leg behind you. Good, and as your right leg extends behind you, allow your shoulders to relax down. Feel your collarbones lift, and we're getting all the space in through. Hip flexor. You're gonna feel this as well through the top of your thigh and try to stay balanced onto the right ball of your foot, big toe to little toe. Take your hands around to the back of your chair and feel that increase now of the space in through your right thigh. You may even start to feel it up into your low belly. That gets into your psoas muscle, which is a hard muscle to stretch out. So this is a really good stretch to create, loosens up back pain, allow your breath to deepen again, feel how strong left foot is against the floor, we don't want our left knee rolling out, try pushing back one last time for your right heel, good, and inhale, come back around, Walk your left foot around first, then bring your right foot up to meet your left. Both feet are level. Sit up as tall as you can. And let's start to wind down our practice. I want you just to let your eyes close and feel already that nice bit of heat internally, how your muscles were able to create strength as well as lengthening the muscles. That observation of the flexibility in through your joints, especially through your shoulders, your elbows, even into your hands as we held the weights early on. And as you sit as tall as your spine will allow in this moment, feel the collarbones lift one last little bit and the tailbone sinks down towards the seat of your chair, your belly button physically pulls back towards your spine. The neck is comfortable as the chin remains parallel to the ground. The eyes are closed and feel the gentleness through the eyelids, the forehead. And as you give thanks into your body for this opportunity, feeling the movement of your breath, feeling the beat of your heart, and as you move into your day from this deeper sense of awareness, I invite you to fold your hands to your heart, bow your head and bow to that beautiful bright light in your heart that continues to shine, taking you forward along your path. I bow to each and every one of you and I thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.